Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, we solved systems of quadratic linear equations uh, graphically. Today we're going to solve them algebraically. And we're going to use a pretty simple rule here. Um, if two equations are equal to y, they are equal to each other. This is the philosophy behind how we're going to do problem one here. If two equations are set equal to y, they are equal to each other. So I'm just going to take that and move it out of the way. If two, if two equations are equal to y, they're equal to each other. So I'm going to take x squared minus 4x plus 3 and set that equal to x minus 1. All right, now I'm going to set this equal to 0 because I cannot factor a quadratic until it's set equal to 0. I'll add 1 here. So I have x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. I'll do my puzzle. Factors of 4 that add to b, negative 5, are negative 1 and negative 4. So I do x squared minus 1x minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Take x out of these. All right, I'm going to take negative 4 out of these. And then I will factor x minus 1 out of both of them. Go to my t-chart. x is 1. x is 4. Now that's just x, so I have to figure out what y is. I'm going to switch colors here. Uh, in a 10-point question, this would get you about 5 points. I've figured out what x is. So once again, I took the two equations. Because they were both equal to y, I set them equal to each other. Um, I solved for 0, which was done right here. I did that. Uh, what I did was I subtracted x from both sides, added 1 from both sides, or added 1 to both sides, and then I factored. I factored by grouping. Okay, um, so now we have to figure out what y is. So I have y equals x minus 1, and I know that x is equal to 1. That gives me y equals 0. And I have y equals x minus 1, and then one of my x's is 4. So y is equal to 3. So my solutions are the point 1, 0, and the point 4, 3. So that would be my solutions to the problem. As far as the checks go here, well, let's get this closed up. As far as the checks go, just like yesterday, we have four checks to do. So I have y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. I'm going to plug in 0 for y, 1 for x. So 0 equals 1 minus 4 plus 3. 0 equals negative 3 plus 3. 0 equals 0. So that check works. I'm going to take the same equation. I'm going to plug in 3 for y, 4 for x, because that's my other point for 3. I get 3 is equal to 16 minus 16 plus 3. These cancel out, 3 equals 3, and that checks. That's only half my checks, however. I have y equals x minus 1, and I'll check the first point, 0 for y, 1 for x. That checks. And then check number 4, 3 goes in for y, 4 goes in for x. And that checks. So check, 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 4 checks. And that gives me uh, 10 points total. What's in blue, solving for x, is going to get you 5 points. Uh, orange with the solutions is going to get you up to 8 points. And then the checks is 2 additional points for 10 out of 10. All right, let's take a look at problem number 2 here. Now, um, once again, if two equations are set equal to y, then I can set them equal to each other. So uh, what I'm going to do here is x squared plus y equals 9. I can subtract x squared from both sides, 
and I get y is equal to negative x squared plus 9. I got y minus 9 is equal to x, that's my other equation. If I add 9 to both sides, I get y is equal to x plus 9. So now both of them are equal to y. I can set them equal to each other. So I have x, negative x squared plus 9 is equal to x plus 9. All right, um, I'll get everything over here on the right because I want to make x squared positive. So I'll add x squared to both sides. So I get 9 is equal to x squared plus x plus 9. And then I subtract 9 from both sides. And that leaves me with um, 0 is equal to x squared plus x. Well, that's GCF factoring. So I'm going to take the x out. And now I'll make my chart x is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So over here x is going to be negative 1. Okay, So that is uh, my two values for x. Um, let me just scroll up a tiny bit so I can see the equation here. Now I need to solve for y. You really don't have a great choice here in what you're using to solve for y. But I'm going to use y minus 9 equals x I guess. y minus 9 equals x. Uh, when x is 0, this is y minus 9 equals 0. So when I add 9 to both sides, I get y equals 9. Uh, I have um, y minus 9 equals x again. And x is negative 1, so I get y minus 9 is equal to negative 1. When I add 9 to both sides, I get y equals 8. So my solutions are 0, 9 and negative 1, 8. And that's the answer to the problem. So once again, this gets you 8 out of 10 points. Uh, what's in black is 5 points, and what is in orange is uh, 3. So we're up to 8 points right now. Last but not least are the checks. I didn't, don't really have a lot of room here, but I'm going to squeeze them in. So let's try to do them right here. Uh, the checks, I have x squared plus y equals 9. So one of my points is the point 0, 9. So 0 squared plus 9 equals 9. 0 plus 9 equals 9. 9 equals 9. Done. Same equation, but with the other point. I have negative 1 squared plus 8 equals 9. That's 1 plus 8 equals 9. 9 equals 9. Check. Uh, let's see. y minus 9 equals x. I have 0, 9, so 9 minus 9 equals 0, 0 equals 0, checks. And finally, I have y minus 9 equals x again, and I go 8 minus 9 equals negative 1, negative 1 equals negative 1, check. Done. So once again, in black is solving for the first variable. When two equations are equal to y, they're equal to each other. Um, in orange, now that I know what x is, x is 0 and x is negative 1, x is 0 here, x is negative 1 there. I plug in 0 for x, I plug in negative 1 for x, and then I solve for y, getting my solutions, and then green is your checks, four checks. Four, not one, not two, not three, but four. All right, in problem three, if you take a look at the first equation, I am not going to be able to solve that for y. It's too complicated. It's going to look nasty when I'm done. It's not worth the bother. It's only going to make the problem harder. So here's what I'm going to do. Off on the side, I'm going to square both sides. So here's what I mean. I have y equals x plus 2. I'm going to square the left side, and I'm going to square the right side. So y squared is equal to, and we're going to have to do this out here, x plus 2 times x plus 2. And I like to do double distributive property. You might like to do box method. You might like to do FOIL. This is x squared plus 2x. This is 2x plus 4. So the whole thing is x squared plus 4x plus 4. All right, x squared plus 4x plus 4. So that's what the bottom equation is equal to if I square both sides. y squared is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this first equation, I'm going to take x squared out, or I'm sorry, I'm going to leave x squared alone, I'm going to take y squared out, and I'm going to replace it with what y squared is equal to over here. Okay, and it's equal to 20. So this equation, y y squared is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 is going to get used in the place of y squared in that first equation. And you can see it in here if I put parentheses in. So instead of y squared, I'm using what y squared is equal to. That's the nature of substitution. So I have two different x squareds. I have a 4x, I have a 4, and that's equal to 20. I can subtract 20 from both sides to set it equal to 0. 2x squared plus 4x minus 16 is equal to 0. 2x squared plus 4x minus 16 is equal to 0. I do my puzzle. I need factors of AC. 2 times negative 16 is negative 32. That add up to be B, so 4. Um, negative 32, so we're talking, what, 16 times 2. Uh, we're talking 8 times 4. It's probably 8 times 4, huh? I need to get a positive 4 down here. I have to have different signs. So how about a plus 8 and a minus 4? That should work out great. So we rewrite this. 2x squared plus 8x minus 4x plus minus 16 is equal to 0. I'll take 2x out of these two. I'll take negative 4 out of these two. And we have x plus 4 times 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, It's not factored completely because 2x minus 4 has a GCF in it, but it will suffice for what we have to do here. And what we have to do is a t-chart. x plus 4 is equal to 0. So if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get x equals negative 4. I have 2x minus 4 is equal to 0, so I'll add 4 to both sides. I get 2x is equal to 4. I'll divide by 2, and you get x equals 2. So those are our x coordinates. Now I need a little space, so I'm going to come up here, grab my eraser real quick, and do us a favor and free up some space, because after we're done dealing with it, we won't look at it again. All right, so taking one of my original two equations here, y equals x plus 2. If I know x is equal to 2, I get y is 4. Same equation. I know now x is negative 4. So y is negative 2. So my solutions are negative 4, negative 2, and 2, 2. I'm sorry, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. Those are my solutions. In green, I check them. I check them. I have lots of room up here now. Kind of doing a little around the world thing here with these last couple of questions. So check. I get x squared plus y squared equals 20. So I have negative 4 squared plus 2 squared is 20. Negative 4 squared is 16. 2 squared is 4. And that uh, does nicely add up to 20. Checking the same equation with the other numbers. I have 2 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 20. So 4 plus 16 is equal to 20. So 20 equals 20. That first equation checks out. We can come down below here and check y equals x plus 2. So I'll check the first point, negative 4, negative 2. So negative 2 goes in for y, negative 4 in for x. Negative 2 equals negative 2. Checks out. I'll check the second equation. Looking a little messy there. Get too close to the screen sometimes. 4 for y, 2 for x, 4 is equal to 4, and it checks out. Okay, so we have in black worth 5 points, solving for x. That required us to square both sides of y equals x plus 2, 
I had to FOIL x plus 2 times x plus 2. Then we did substitution, set it equal to 0, and factored it. Okay, we got negative 4 and 2 for the roots. Plug those roots into y equals x plus 2, and we got 4 and negative 2 for the y values. We wrote the solution here as an ordered pair, ordered pairs, and then in green are the four checks. Okay, as you can see on page 532, we have 4 through 20 even. You're not going to do problem 14. I advise you give these a couple, a uh, couple of these a try before you call the night. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Please remember your review book money.